Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sally Face. I think we're starting um, chapter four, but I'm not sure. So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher, what did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Ah, wow, that's quite convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. A beloved Knockville High teacher killed by a drunk driver. Of course, you wouldn't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth, and you said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It'll be aired in full. I always keep my word. And I think people would be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone is watching you now. You spoke with great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand that you two were very close. You even considered her one of your best friends along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison. Is that true? Yes. Have you seen this? that little teardrop. Sad. What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking. So we couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. I'm sorry, Sal. Apparently Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say that the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. He doesn't know fantasy from reality and all he wants is to die. When he's denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. I need to help him somehow, I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Who are you? I am Lord Beelzebub. Whoa, really? So you're like the devil or something? No, it's a nickname bestowed, bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough, indeed. Can I go in that room? You only just arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. You must first admire my art. Your arm. Yes. In the dark there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. 
One of the remaining four arts you must gaze upon three. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Beelzebub. Or Beelzebub. Okay, bubs. Very right back. There's a knock at the door and I could see again. And it's me again. Suddenly it forced my hand and this freedom re revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything, a prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things, unforgivable things. Okay. What have we done to deserve such agony that we determined to devour us all? Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams, and everything was black. Okay. broken before he found me, scattered and lost, and he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love, when everything was perfect, until it fell apart again. Now there is only pain. Okay. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Seven four two six nine seven. Her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered greatly. Through our union, we have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is and all that will ever be. I don't think that's really good.
So, they're filled with regret and sorrow. They're in a lot of pain. They're in a lot of pain. They're heartbroken. They've lost touch with reality. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through the door, there's no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, Bubs. So dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me, then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? Where's my cell phone? Sally, oh, what's happening? Hey, Neil. No big deals today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. Yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. Yeah, I'm alright. Have you been sleeping okay? I've heard you up a few times last night. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. I know you're not a big fan, but you should have a cup. It'll do you good. I never start a day without my caffeine fix. Thanks. I guess I am feeling a little tired. Can you see my cell phone? Can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happens to the best of us. Here you go, ma'am. Where's Todd? He has class this morning. Alright, he goes to go or how goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow, I wish. Uh, I mean slow, it's been slow. You boys trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know I can handle myself, right? Plus I am two years older than y'all too. No, I know, it's just that we yeah, yeah, four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. Speaking of cute, I've heard that lovely ass is coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? I'm supposed to catch up this afternoon. So that's a no on the excitement then? No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs calling your name. Sally Face, come and get some. Did you hear those strange noises? Um, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Last night I thought I heard some weird siren. Didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo or something. No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Never mind. Probably just the nightmares. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. How's work going? Oh, shoot, work. I'm supposed to cover the morning shift today. Gotta run, Sally. I'll catch you later. Okay. a note from Todd to me. It's 
tell. Here's the new code. Code for what? I can't believe we've been working on this for five years now. It feels like the more connections we find, the less sense it all makes. Stuff. Is cult still operating? If so, where are they all? Huh? What's this loose tape? I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him that I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. It's as if he is trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention, but I don't think he can see or hear me. Rob to give us some funds for new equipment. When he found out what we were up to, he basically thought we were real life Ghostbusters. I don't think that's a Ghostbusters. Ever. Like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Okay. Are you awake? Am now. What's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Other than ghosts and creepy basement. I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay. Text me when you're ready. On the way now. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. 
so you admit to lying in your original statements. Yes, I was in shock from what happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. That no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are we to decipher what's true and what's a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important people hear what I have to say, whether they believe it or not. Well, I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockville? That all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, all of these things were some elaborate cover-up created by who? The county police department? If it's all right with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story be told chronologically in order to prevent details from de being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. I'll allow it. Please continue with, their te with your testimony, Mr. Fisher. But realize we will expect answers to these questions. The prosecution is presented. Everything will be answered. And proceed. I'm going to stop here before I finish the story. And tomorrow, we'll see what's next, I guess. So, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Maybe give me a uh, theory on what might happen. I really don't know. I, I, I watched it. Um, I watched Jacksepticeye I play it, but I don't remember what happened. So, thank you for watching. Bye.